you wondering what the real estate market's going to do? Trying to figure out if uh, you need to buy or sell right now. You know, there's a lot of things that float around in the real estate world that I, I don't like to get on the bandwagon with right away as I like to see data and know for a fact that something is true. But a while back, I'm sure you saw floating around on the internet, realtors were posting about date the rate, marry the house. Well, that couldn't ring any more truer than it is now because only a few months ago, rates were in the, uh, the sixes, five and sixes, and now they're anywhere from uh, seven to eight percent just depending on uh, who you go with and, and largely depending on your your credit depending on what kind of rate you get so with that being said it really is true that you should uh, date the rate and marry the home you don't need to be waiting to buy a home right now rates have only gone up and up and up I actually uh, get daily texts from a uh, lender on what the, the rates are and other lenders I get emails from and watch what's going on in the uh, the economy. You know, if you're, if you're waiting for the housing market to crash, it's not gonna happen. There's just different factors going on for the housing market uh, to crash. It's not 2008. Now, with that being said, you know the economy could crash with what's going on there there's no telling you know anything can change from day to day and week to week and month to month that uh, are driving forces to either collapse the economy or uh, pick it back up or just you know keep it sustained and steady so we never really know I mean there are definitely indicators uh, that are not looking good like I said things can change so if you're thinking about you know buying or selling right now to buy again you might as well just go ahead and do it before the rates keep going up. You know, everybody keeps saying, oh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until it crashes and then and the rates come down. Well, here's the problem. So, if you're waiting, so is everybody. Everybody's out there just waiting for the market to crash or the, the rates to come down. What do you think is gonna happen when that so-called crash happens or the rates come down? Well, there's gonna be a flood of buyers coming into the market. What does that sound like? Kinda of sounds like 2020 to 2022, where buyers were having to pay over asking and waive appraisals and pay all their own closing costs and not getting home inspections and not being able to get anything that they want at all and just kinda of having to take what they can get. So, I guess the question is, you know, what category do you want to be in? Which side do you want to be in? Do you want to buy now while the, the rate is a little bit higher and wait until the rates to fall to refinance? Because something you may not know is you can't just refinance right away. I believe it's, it's six months. It may be different with other lenders, but I believe you have to wait six months to a year sometimes to be able to uh, refinance your home into a different rate. You know, there's different ways of uh, refinancing. So you really gotta think about what you can and can't do, and you need to know to be educated to really know what decision you need to, you need to make. And that's why I wanted to make this video, is to put some education out there because it's really not a good idea to wait. And you may be like, oh, well, Ben, you're a realtor. You're just saying that because you're a realtor. No, I'm saying that because I'm a very analytical, data-driven person is what I am. You know, another, piece of the puzzle here is not only if you wait till the rates drop but with everybody coming into the market what do you think that's going to do to home prices it's going to drive home prices up again just like during covid that's exactly what happened so you think you know you're like oh i'm getting a better rate but now home prices have just shot up again so guess what your actual mortgage payment is probably going to be higher with a lower rate because the house, the home prices just shot up and you're having to pay more because there's so much more competition than the mortgage payment that you would have had with a higher rate and a lower house cost overall, lower purchase price. So it's better to go ahead and buy now and wait for the rates to drop and remember six to, six to 12 months 
before you can refinance. So go ahead and start getting those months in to where when the rates do drop, if they drop, then you can actually refinance and then you'll be refinancing to a lower rate while also having the purchase price of a house a lot lower than it would have been if you would have waited. Now look, don't get me wrong, I completely get and understand if you can't do that right now with the interest rates, you know, and uh, what that makes your payment be because you can, you know, you, you, you can afford less of a house now. You can only afford less of a house where with lower interest rates, you can afford more of a house. So, I mean, there's definitely different dynamics and situations to the whole ordeal, but I just wanted you guys to know. I hope this was, uh, you know, very helpful and, and educational. And the last thing I'll say is you really don't need to wait if you can.